So now, folks, you will see a quite remarkable and special scene as we go and feed the slightly older lambs. I hope you'll all agree, this is a very special thing. Right. Don't give it out yet. And this is what all the kerfuffle's about. It's feed time. Oh, look. That's lab racing. <laughs> Over at the back there, everyone. They absolutely love it. Look at that. There's a whole. They may go out of the field, but hopefully they'll come land. back. So, Peter, can you explain to everyone why there are numbers on the side of the. Uh, yes, the of user? course I can. No problem at all. We put numbers on a family unit. So the mother will have a number on her, and the lambs will have the same number. So that if we find a lamb that's a bit sick, or a mum that's a bit sick, we know to look to the, to the rest of the family unit to make sure there's no problems there. If a ewe has a lack of milk, she's not milking very well, the lambs might look hungry. So we need to find both lambs, not just the one, we need to find them both. So we need to know we've found the whole family unit and then we can hopefully rectify the problem, get things back on track. Brilliant. And the other question that I, I think might be uh, interesting for everyone watching, what are the tags on their ears? Well, the ear tags are unique to that animal. I, on, on that ear tag is a code, I probably won't be able to catch one, but I'll do no. my very best. There we go. Well done. So there we are. So on this ear tag is her number. On this case, it's 02046. And on the reverse side of it is a unique number to this farm. Every farm in the UK has their own number. So that animal is totally unique in her number and is totally traceable. And DEFRA, that's the government, agricultural part of the government, government require that everything is tagged and everything is traceable. It's not something I like to have to do on young lambs, but we have to do it. Mm. So there we are, it's done. So every single Every single lamb animal has their sheep. own unique number. So the final important part of feeding on a daily basis at every feed time is counting the ewes. Peter, can you just tell the audience what, what are you doing here? Just um, you fed them. Yes. The the, the food is for the this is lambs or the ewes. This is for the ewes, and this is a supplementary food. It's basically corn with a bit of molasses to bind it together. Um, it gives them extra energy, and it it helps them to to milk really well while the lambs are young. As the lambs get older, they don't need so much milk. But just for the first couple of weeks after they've lambed, this is a good thing to do. It, it, it just gets everything fit and strong. It's also, it's important, it's a transition from coming from the sheds where they've been on, uh, on their nuts and on dry food, on dry hay. It's a transition to going onto grass. So it's a slow move onto just grass. And, and I noticed you were, you were going through the numbers, you were counting them. I was counting the ewes, because every day they're counted to make sure they're all here, everything's accounted for, you know, we mm. don't want any problems, if mm. anything's unhealthy it might be off to one side, so I need to know that everything's here and healthy. Fantastic. Well, that's what's called a well-managed farm. 
Well, I think you'll agree, everyone, that's been an absolutely fascinating and exciting and, well, illuminating set of films. And we'd like to all say a big thank you to Farmer Peter and his willing assistant, Abby. Thank you both so much. Very good. Okay. Bye for now.